L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this cute little baby card using the new Level 3 Hostess set from our catalog. It's actually just meant to be a little pull duck that slides along the card and um, I'm using the slot punch here to make a little handle or a little shelf for the bee, bee to sit on. So, let's get started. Pieces you need for this card are craft card stock, which is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then we need another piece of paper on top here that measures four by five and a quarter. You're going to use your white craft ink to go around the outside of all your edges just to soften the look, and basic brown ink as well. Uh, I've punched out my greeting using the scallop punch, and we'll actually cut that. Um, so I cut from scallop to scallop just straight across to make kind of a neat different looking greeting for my card. So happy for you, congratulations. You need a one and a quarter inch apricot appeal circle and a one inch whisper white circle with your stamped image and I've colored the duck in barely banana, the beak is apricot appeal and the cart is creamy caramel. You need another one and a quarter inch circle which you won't see, this is on the back and then I have two of the soft settle barely banana brads and then our puller for the duck is done using the um, linen thread and then I have a couple of the beads from the um, green bead dual mix and then just a wooden bead I had in the house B for baby. Okay to start we're going to make our track so I'm using my small piece of craft paper and the Stampin' Up! Hobby blade and, and an acrylic grid here that I have. Now I'm going to measure in about three quarters of an inch and I'm just going to cut along my ruler until I hit another three quarters of an inch from this edge. So three quarters of an inch from here to here. And I've actually measured in seven eighths of an inch. It doesn't matter how far, I'm just picking these dimensions. And now I'm going to increase to one inch. So my track is only going to be an eighth of an inch thick. Now I've done this before using a word window punch, but I like this because it's a little bit more narrow. So I've made the same distance cut, and now just using my hobby blade, I'm just going to slice this, make a little line across, and this will be my track for my duck to slide along. Okay, to assemble my slider, what I'm going to do is I've attached my one inch circle onto the apricot appeal, and then just using my paper piercer, I'm going to poke a hole in each of the wheels and then actually I'm going to layer this on top of the craft and poke them again. So I have matching holes in my craft circle and sometimes what I like to do is just take my paper and feed it all the way up the paper piercer to make a bigger hole for those brads. And now I'm going to put my brads in here as if they're my tires on my duck and then flip it over and what I'm going to do is just crazy eight my um, my B. So what I'm going to do here is just make sure it's about the right length, uh, give it a little bit of slack, and then I'm just going to wrap this around my brads in a figure eight or crazy eight pattern, as I like to call it, and just go back and forth a few times. And then what that's going to do is provide a little bit of a spacer so my two pieces of cardstock aren't too tight and it allows some room to breathe for when you're sliding this and also it secures my ribbon. So I'll just cut off my extra natural hemp there and now I'm going to feed my craft circle actually sorry, I'm going to put this through my track first and then I'm going to put my craft circle on top and again you wouldn't have any adhesive because then it would stick and it wouldn't slide. So what I've made here is just my little slider. So it goes my duck, my paper, the brads through, and into this craft circle here on the back. To make the little shelf to hold our B here, so when you get the card it doesn't just flop off, we're going to use the slot punch, and then what I'm going to do is just reach up here and try and align it, it will actually go as far as it will let me go but make sure you're not cutting into the track so you can see here you can see all craft paper I'm just going to do a punch and then actually this can just fold down and you've got yourself a little spot for that bead to sit and rest 
I'm going to add a little bit of a zigzag on the bottom of my card. So what I'm using here is the mat pack and my paper piercer. I'm using the small hole grid and I've lined up the third row of dots so it touches the bottom of the craft paper. And I'm actually going to poke using the top two rows. And I'm just going to go across every other hole making a zigzag pattern. And when you get to the end where you either run out of mat or you run out of grid, all you're going to do is pick up your paper and move it along and then reline up your grid so I can see here that my dots are lined up they're in the holes and then just continue the pattern across the card and you can do that as many times as you need to to get the card done so I've got my zigzag and now I can just assemble my card to attach the slider now to the card I've just used dimensionals here and I'm just going to attach it to my card what you're going to do though is make sure you don't have any dimensionals in the path of that duck and um, so I've just got one on each of the corners of the bottom and then this row here is high enough that when this slides none of these will bonk into it and I'll just flip this over and stick it on my card. L is for the way you look at me 